Hey everybody, how you doing today? Got a Annabelle creation from Morbid Industries. Uh, the box says she's three foot tall, but I'm guessing that's from her head to her butt because as you can see with the legs, that's a full size stool she's sitting on. I'd say she's more about four to five feet with the legs. Uh, she's sound activated. We'll get her to turn on here real quick. Annabelle. And she doesn't say anything. I, the box said 17 plus, but it just says head movement. I don't know why you would rate something 17 plus. I thought she was going to have maybe some curse words or something, but she doesn't. Just the head goes back and forth. Um, she does need some touch-ups. Her nose was pushed in when I got it. You can see there's some missing paint there. I pushed it back out. Uh, it's only four screws to take the head off. And the only other problem with this one that I've seen get a little close up here they, they never cleaned up the mold around the bottom of her eye there so there's that other than that she looks pretty clean she's got a couple marks on her hands yeah, so she could use some touch-ups uh, the dress and the hair everything looks good her head moves the sound works as you just seen I'll kick it off again Annabelle And you can also, she's sound activated, but there's also right down here on her hand, that's the try me switch. You can switch that out for a uh, foot activated pad. They sell that separately, it's not included, but it's uh, basically a eighth inch microphone jack. So you can unplug that and if you get the foot pad trigger, you can plug that in, she can be triggered by that. Or you could actually just get a microphone extension and run that button back to where you want it and set her off whenever you want. There's two settings on her. Uh, one is for sound activation and one is for the uh, try me or also that would be the foot switch. So that's it. And so you can see what's going on underneath her. She's actually just a metal cage here. One second, I gotta lift her up. So, here's what she's got underneath. It's a round platform to sit her on, and then just a structure to hold her and the rest of her mechanics under there. You can actually open her dress up in the back here to get to the rest of the stuff. Uh, that's the motor that moves her, and that's your on off box. I do have the uh, cover, I just didn't put it on because I'm going to take the batteries out before I ship it. And that's about everything. Give you a quick up and down here. I'll look her over again. I just pulled her out of the box here. Um, I'll go over the dress and see if there's any marks or stains or whatnot, tears. I'll let you know in the description on eBay if I found anything. one last thing now I got her out in the sun looks like she's got some discoloration there too so basically her face could use a new paint job it's probably easier than matching what's there 